Each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. Tonight, I've invited a culinary hotshot to my secret kitchen. I've known this week's chef since her days at Food Network's Test Kitchen. Oh my God. Since then, she's taken New York by storm with her modern take on Korean cuisine. It's the best. Uh-huh. And I've had the pleasure of cooking against and actually losing to her. We ready for whatever. Password, please? Ramen. Ooh. Please welcome Chef Esther Choi. <laughs> welcome, Chef. Thank you. She comes in hard with those craveable flavors. The Titans are all my friends. It's a tight circle, so winning this competition would mean a lot of street cred, and I'm really, really pumped right now. Okay, so for round one, the ingredients are Blanken cut short ribs and Asian pear. 40 minutes on the clock, let's go. Let's go, Tiff. I know that I want to do a wrap because I want to do one dish cold and one dish hot to cut back on time. For my second dish, I'm going to do grilled short ribs with garlic rice and a pear and vegetable medley. Esther? Yeah? What are you making? Braised spicy short ribs, some creamed potatoes, and then, of course, I have to do a lettuce wrap, Bobby. Come on. Okay. Cream barbecue. Sounds good. I'm not sure if they're gonna break down in that short amount of time, but I think braising short ribs will really set my dish apart if I get it right. She's chewing that short rib she's tasting. Look at, like a lot. It's just not quite as tender as I want it to be. So I end up throwing it back on the stove. Without this, I'm pretty screwed. Three minutes to go. Oh my God, I'm gonna run out of oh time. Oh God. I can't, I can't watch this. This is the closest it's, it's been. Okay, we should play. I put the rice on the bottom of the plate, wrap my vegetable. Tiffany, you good? Yes, Chef. I'm literally like throwing it on last second. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop your cooking, everybody. It's time for me to introduce you to tonight's judge. He's been widely published in the New York Times Magazine. Please welcome Francis Lamb. Hey, Francis. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Welcome. Glad to have you. I'm glad to be here. The first dish is braised spicy short ribs with a garlic cream potato. Dish two is a grilled short rib mm -hmm. lettuce wrap with a pear kimchi. Let's move on to Chef B. Right on. It's a fried beef and Asian pear wrap. OK, so dish two is a marinated grilled short rib with garlic rice and a pear medley. Okay, Esther, your dishes received a total of... seven out of 10. <laughs> Tiffany, your dishes received... a score of six. Dang. They were just like little, tiny, like nitpicky things and execution. It didn't come across as wow as I wanted. Round two, create two distinctly different dishes using avocados and serrano chilies. Wow. You have 40 minutes, and your time starts now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go. Go, go, go. Esther, what are you making? Avocado bibimbap. Bibimbap is a mixed rice dish. So the first thing I do is get the rice on. For my second dish, I'm making avocado and shrimp guacamole. I want the avocado to shine raw. And so I want to make a really good guac. I love a pickle chili. So of course I have to pickle the serranos. I want to use it in both dishes to give some sort of acid and nice texture. And then I mash my guacamole with some lime juice, cilantro, and chives. You can't just serve guacamole. You need to elevate, elevate, elevate Ooh. a Vietnamese-style shrimp and avocado aguachile. Basically a ceviche. The other one is going to be a green uh, serrano chili churro with a, a grilled avocado, so treating oh. it like a steak with some chimichurri. I mean, a lot of people think it's almost illegal to cook avocado. So I want to show that like avocado can be the start and almost treat it like I'm treating a piece of meat. Obviously with guac, 
you need some sort of chip. So I soak rice paper quickly and then dry it in the oven. Yeah, so you have a fried prawn head, yum. Prawn heads are another texture element for this agua chile dish. I pull the chips out of the oven. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's still not completely dry, but I'm like kind of cutting it close with time. I start plating the bibimbap. Put the sauce and the ramekins. Then I put down the rice. 10 seconds. I'm rushing to add my pickled serranos onto the bibimbap. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop your cooking. But I run out of time. Let's start with Chef A. This is a Vietnamese style shrimp and avocado aguachile. Dish two is a grilled avocado steak with serrano chimichurri and a serrano parmesan churro. All right, let's move on to Chef B. Dish one is an avocado and shrimp guacamole with a nori rice chip. I don't think they dried enough. OK, dish two is an avocado bibimbap with a serrano sesame dressing. Michael, your dish is received. Nine points. Woo! Way to go! Thank you. Esther, in the second round, you received a score of seven points. OK, Titan, third round. We will be cooking with pork belly and kimchi. Mm. You guys ready? Ready. ready. Cook. <laughs> Esther? Yeah? What are you making? Ramen with the kimchi bacon broth. The first thing I need to do is get that pork belly on. It needs to braise for a long time, or else it's a little too chewy. I'm cooking the pork belly in the pressure cooker with white kimchi to give that kimchi flavor to the pork. To make a beautiful bowl of ramen within 45 minutes is an incredibly challenging thing to do. I'm going to braise some pork belly. I'm going to make shrimp and pork rice with cucumber kimchi. I make flavored rices all the time. It's a great way to showcase other flavors. So my goal with this pork belly is to get it started immediately with some caramelization on the outside in the fryer, and then throw it into a pressure cooker full of flavor. Mirin, kimchi, soy, and some soy paste for some umami flavor. You're using like a lot of Korean flavors as well. Yeah. I'm not scared of Korean flavors. The pork looks delicious. I add some of the liquid from the pressure cooker to my broth. Brooke, how's the rice? It's not done. Uh-oh. It looks like potentially the rice cooker was delayed when I press start. I don't know. But this rice is nowhere near done. Seven and a half minutes. I don't have the option to give up. I have to pivot and throw it into a pan, add a bit more moisture, and make sure that it tastes good. So to plate, I first start with the noodle, then add my toppings, the pork belly, the kimchi bacon mixture, and then lastly, my broth. 20 seconds, Brooke. Yeah. I plate rice in the bottom of the hot pot and my kimchi cucumber salad on top of that. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Let's start with uh, Chef A. Pork belly kimchi ramen with a kimchi bacon broth and handmade ramen noodles. OK, Chef B. This is a shrimp and pork rice and a cucumber kimchi. Chef Rook, I thought the depth of flavor you got in that rice dish was really remarkable. Thank you. I give you a dish. 15 points. <laughs> Chef Esther, you have this incredible confidence in your flavors, I think. It really shows on the plate. It's really, really amazing. Thank you. And I gave your dish. <laughs> 17 points. Congratulations. Congratulations. That was so hard. Harder than beating Bobby? Way harder. <laughs> Way harder than beating Bobby. <laughs> Come grab your money and let's have a drink. <laughs>